Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers at YouTube channel. Dear friends, in this video lecture today I am going to discuss about quantity of steel for different RCC structure like beam, column and slab. Many students they have this question that what is the minimum and maximum percentage of steel for uh, different RCC structure. So in this video you are able to learn the minimum and maximum uh, percentage of steel. NRCC structure. So let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so must like and subscribe this channel for more updates, civil engineering videos, and for reading article about this video, just visit to my website www.civilstudents.com. Let's start. So quantity of steel for beam, column, and slab. And also in this video, I will tell you quantity of steel by thumb rule. So, minimum percentage of steel is per IS Indian standard code for beam. We can take minimum percentage of steel for beam. Minimum percentage of steel for beam that is AS is equal, area of steel is equal 0.04 BD where B is breadth of beam and D is depth of beam which can give you quantity of steel for RCC beam but that will be minimum. And the second one is column minimum percentage of steel for column so just take 0.8 percent of cross-sectional area cross-sectional area of column so this is cross-sectional area of column so first find area of column suppose if this is 1 feet or 12 inch by 12 inch its size of column okay cross-sectional area find the cross-sectional area of column then multiply it with 0.8 percent so it will give you quantity of steel for column but that will be minimum minimum percentage of steel okay and first step and second we will uh, discuss the maximum percentage of steel so the third one is here slab so take 0.12 percent steel of cross-sectional area of slab suppose this is your slab so first of all you have to find cross-sectional area of slab okay suppose this is depth of slab and this is breadth or weight of slab so first of all you have to find cross-sectional area then multiply it with 0.12 percent then it will give you the minimum per, uh, the minimum quantity of steel for rcc slab now <clears throat> in second step we have maximum percentage of steel so many students they ask that what is the minimum and what is the maximum percentage of steel for different RCC structure. So now we will discuss maximum percentage of steel for beam column and slab. Okay. So for beam take 4% of cross sectional area. Same like uh, same uh, like this cross sectional area. Suppose this is beam. This is beam. Okay. So take cross sectional area. Suppose the cross sectional area of the beam is here. This is D and this is B. Okay. First find the uh, area uh, cross sectional area of uh, beam. Then multiply it with uh, 4%. Okay. It will give us maximum quantity of steel for beam. But this is the maximum. Okay. It should be not uh, increase from 4%. Now for column take 6% of cross-sectional area okay so you know cross-sectional area I have already discussed here so for slab take 4% of cross-sectional area like this but that will be maximum percentage of steel for different RCC structure so now uh, here thumb rule for steel and RCC structure so uh, we have already uh, discussed for beam column and slab so this is thumb rule okay so this is old method so now we uh, for uh, residential building for normal domestic building you can use if you want to design your just uh, uh, if you want to design just two room or three room house so you can use this method okay so this is old method so uh, thumb rule for a uh, steel and rcc so for slab take 80 kg per cubic meter concrete so first of all uh, remember that uh, if you want to find the quantity of steel for slab by thumb rule so mm -hmm. for slab take 80 kg steel for per cubic meter concrete means for one cubic meter 
concrete if your concrete is one cubic meter for example like this so one one and one one cubic meter so this is one meter and this is one meter this is also one meter so it become one multiply one multiply one so it become one cubic meter so take 80 kg of steel for one cubic meter concrete by thumb rule okay for beam take 120 kg for beam rcc beam 120 kg per one cubic meter concrete and also for column take 160 to 180 kg of steel for one cubic meter concrete so this is uh, the way to find quantity of steel minimum and maximum okay but uh, uh, first of all we have to try uh, to do the good and special design for your structure by that we have to find uh, quantity of steel but if you want to find uh, a minimum and maximum quantity of steel are by thumb rule so use the same formulas which i've discussed the front of you so it's sufficient for today if you have any question uh, about this video so you are free to comments and i will try to replay your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye